Hello everybody and welcome to the World's Collide Free Show. Tonight, the absolute finest of the Hoop HQ, XWS, and UCC will be squaring off for Brent Supremacy. And it all starts in a few short moments. But to kick off this free show, let's run down the car for tonight. This is start off tonight, the Messiah Max McKay, the leader of the cult, will be squaring off against Dublin's finest, Lee Dunn, in an extreme rules match. Moving on from that, we got our first champion versus champion match as Hoopla HQ's IC champion Finn Balor goes one on one against the XWS IC champion in Carlo Saragon. It has been over one year since these two last squared off, and tonight we got our second ever match of the two. Moving on from there, we got our first triple threat match. As for the women's side, the prototype Casey Styles goes up against Canada's finest export in Kinky Tammy as well as the net runner, Kristen Adams. All three women tried to get one up on one another last show, and it all culminates here tonight. And moving on to the men's side of that same matchup, Hoopla's outlaw, John Ryan Xavier, goes up against the UCC's band man in Johnny John, as well as the XWS World Heavyweight Champion in Kevin Owens. A lot of heavy hitters in that matchup, and that'll wrap up the first half of the show. But to kick off the pre-show, we got our first triple threat tag team matchup as Team Hoopla, Joey Joe Joseph and John Russell go up against Team UCC in the Samoan Brothers, as well as Team XWS in Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. This is our first Fantasy Warfare match and it is coming up next. Triple Threat Elimination Tag Match. Making his way to the ring first. Representing the Hoopla HQ and fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea. He is the Pyongyang Prince, Joey Joe Joseph. Last time Joseph appeared on World's Glide was at the very first one in 2019. When he was originally scheduled to be in this same matchup representing Group HQ against XWS. But before the match could begin, John Russell attacked him from behind and Grant Clarence took his place in the match. The time heals all wounds and tonight the same two people that were feuding two years ago are now teaming to go up against a common enemy. Don the vengeful one went one on one against the Nibble Luis. Well, the winner would have faced Finn Balor for the IC title at Warzone. But in that same matchup, Jesse and Jay Haku attacked John Russell while the ref was distracted and cost him the match. At the next show, John Russell was eager to qualify for this very match. But the only problem he had was that he had no friends to go to. So he went to one of the few people he knew could get the job done. And that just so happened to be the Pyongyang Prince Joey Joe Joseph. Now they both go into this match with revenge on their minds to get one up on the Samoan brothers and gain the first point in favor of the Hoopla HQ. Bobby Fish 
So far, the run of Free Dragon and XWS has been short and simple, with them only having two matches in the burner. The first one being a win against the team known as High Fly at XWS Ant. Their second matchup being at their last pay per view, New Breed, for the number one contendership for the XWS Tag Team titles. And now tonight, they represent the company against a dominant team in the Samoan Brothers and a makeshift one in John Russell and Joey Joe Joseph. Introductories out of the way. It is now time to find out who will be getting the first point in this display of Ultimate Warfare. So place your bets as to who it's going to be the Hoop HQ, XWS, or UCC. Let the pre-show begin. First matchup tonight, triple threat elimination match. Jojo Joseph going after Kyle O'Reilly. Jay Haku going after John Russell. And Jesse Haku going after Bobby Fish. Pick your target and focus on it because I am going to be going back and forth between what's going on in the ring and outside. Inside, John Russell clotheslining Jay Haku. Back up. Oh, misses the uppercut. Missing the shot. Drops him with the neck breaker outside. Back inside the ring, Jesse Haku and Bobby Fish. This is so far dominating. And Bobby reversing him, dropping him there. On first. Moving over, Kyle O'Reilly has. Oh my god, what a submission there for Kyle. Has him in an arm bar, but pulling on the leg. There it was, it wasn't effective. Georgia Joseph now trying to lane shots as Jesse Haku is interfering. He's in the headlock, looking for something. Oh, a hurricane runner there for Kyle. Jesse and Kyle looking to work together, wearing down Joseph. But Jayaku close lines John Russell into the corner as Bobby Fish just watches on. John Russell rolling out of the ring. Jayaku getting caught. Drops in there with the reverse CDT. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish standing tall here. I spoke too soon. Bobby Fish getting hit with an uppercut. Dodges his punch. Oh, hits him with the back elbow. Still up. Lays in a shot to his face. Oh, drops him there. Bobby Fish standing tall. Kyle O'Reilly now focusing in on Joseph. As Jesse Haku interferes. At least tries to. Joey Drew Joseph drops him there with the fucking pile driver. Fixing him ahead. Wasn't down for long. Close lines him down. Kyle O'Reilly now trying to go after Jesse, gets caught. Oh my god! On the right side of the ring, Bobby Fish hits him with a moonsault outside. Not that out of my peripherals. Back in the ring, John Russell 
Getting the up hand over Jesse. Oh, Kyle O'Reilly stopping him though. Oh, hits him with the rolling elbow. Kyle, Kyle not done with it. Oh my God. John Russell dropping him there with a spinning back elbow. Oh, he only can get a two count from that. A double kick stab from the two. Both focusing in on Jesse Aku. Oh, really? oh my god. Oh, super kick there from Jesse. Hands him up. Oh. Was looking for a belly to belly there. Kyle O'Reilly reverses, kicks him in the head. Now everybody's outside the ring. Absolute mayhem right in front of the announcers' tables. Holy shit. Oh, Bobby Fish getting thrown back in. Joseph following suit. This is a, catches him with a headlock. Looking for something here. Oh, he decides to let him go. Oh my god, picking him up. Drops him down with a gut buster. Jesse Aku now picking him up. Or not. Oh, yeah, they're missing. Oh, John Russell. Picking up Jay Haku. Drops him with the TKO. Possibly looking for the first elimination in this match. Has him in the cover. One, two. And Jay Haku has been eliminated. UCC is now one person down. John Russell now focusing in on Bobby Fish. Flips him over. Oh my god, Kyle O'Reilly catching Joseph there. But he was too close to the ropes for the pin. Oh, hits him with an uppercut. Joseph now rolling outside the ring. Oh my god, Kyle O'Reilly hitting him with the forearm to the face. Back inside the ring, John Russell. Going after Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish hits him. Goes into the corner. Knee shot to the gut. And this is a kick. Drops him down. Lucas Press laying in shots on his face. The bench for one now. Going to gain some momentum. Oh, has him here. Northern Lights. Rolling over. Setting him up here. Oh my god. Final cut connecting middle of the ring. He could go for the fall right now, but decides not to. And maybe his downfall. Oh, rolls him over. Oh my God, has him in a knee bar middle of the ring. So far away from the ropes. Joseph focused on somewhere else, and the bench for one is eliminated. Bobby Fish now. Focusing in on Jesse Aku. XWS now the only team with two people. Joseph getting caught here. Kyle O'Reilly with an impressive suplex there. Don't even know what the fuck to call it. Whereas Jesse Aku just displayed his power over Bobby Fish. If I were the UCC or Hoopledge, he want to at least survive. This matchup, they gotta eliminate at least one of Team XWS. Jesse Aku there, flipping over Bobby Fish. Like it was nothing. Jojo Joseph now, dragging him over. Possibly looking to bring him back into the ring. Or Jesse Aku brings Bobby Fish back in. All four members inside the ring. Into the cover. Oh, two count. Oh, Joseph drops down Kyle. Has him in a sharpshooter middle of the ring. Bobby Fish right there to stop it. Oh, running knee to the face. Impressive combination there. This is throwing Joseph away. Gets caught rushing leg sweep from Bobby Fish. Oh, drop down Fish. This is the drop kick. That's that coup. Kind of focusing on Bobby. Oh, has him in a knee lock. It's too close to the ropes, though. 
Joseph trying to focus in on him. Misses the super kick again. He is eager to get him with that kick. And Joseph now, oh, chops him off the top rope. Now turning his attention to Bobby Fish, setting him up here. Super kick connecting. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, Phil Riley stomping it right there. Just in the nick of time. Oh, but Jay Aku catching him off guard. Bobby Fish down. Oh, he was so close. Jesse Aku catching Joseph off guard. Oh, setting him up here into a camel clutch right in front of Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle back up. There's nothing on the top. Hits Joseph in the face. Hits him in the cut. Jesse interfering there. Hits him with an uppercut. Mike stealing his pinfall here. As he's looking to eliminate the Pyongyang Prince. Ah, oh, but it's only two. Let's see how cool. his attention to Bobby Fish. Kyle O'Reilly setting him up. Oh, jumps over him. Joseph getting caught. Gets out of it. Rock kicks Kyle O'Reilly. Setting him up. Hits him in the arm. Bobby Fish eager to take out Jesse Aku with any submission whatsoever, but he's just too close to the ropes. Joseph now looking for something here. Oh, climbing to the top rope. Oh, I see what he's doing. Possibly looking for that. Oh, elbow drop connecting. Into the cover. Kyle O'Reilly occupied. Not there to save his partner. And Bobby Fish has been eliminated. All three teams tied one person apiece. Now it is anybody's game. Kyle O'Reilly dropping in there with the suplex into the cover. Oh, only a two. Joseph still looking to hit that super kick. Oh, but he misses it there. It's Jesse Hustle here. Hits it that time, into the cover. Oh, but he's too close to the ropes. Kyle O'Reilly now. Hits him with an elbow drop. Just double teaming the Samoan man. Into the cover. Two. Oh my God. Jesse Aku still has plenty of fight left in him. Despite the two on one assault here. God, going after the knees. Kyle O'Reilly just focus on Jesse Aku. And he rushes up. Oh, close lines him into the corner. Now laying in shots on him. Has him here. Oh, but Joseph catching him off guard with the super kick. Finally hits it. One, two. And the Pyongyang Prince eliminates Jesse Aku. Team UCC has been eliminated. It is now down to Joey Joe Joseph and Kyle O'Reilly. Hoopa versus XWS. Hits him in the knee, misses the forearm. Joseph hits him with the crucifix. Oh, Kyle O'Reilly catching him off guard. Herc and Rana there. It is a battle of wits between the two. And only one of them is going to get the upper hand. Fourth, reversing each other's maneuvers. Catch them here. Oh, belly to back. Kyle O'Reilly rolling out towards the apron, trying to get some breathing room. Joseph now. Just waiting for him. Rolls him outside onto the apron. And something in mind here. Oh, setting him up. Duplex middle of the ring. DDT. Either XWS or Hoop Lake Q will be getting the first point in this war. Kyle O'Reilly dragging him towards the corner. Oh my god, just laying his head into the post, trying to put him through it. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, Joseph back up quickly, hits him with the crucifix into the cover. One, two. Oh, but he kicks out of it. Oh, he drops him down. Setting him up for a sharp shooter, but he may be a bit too close to the ropes, and he is. Joseph does not care, continues his assault into the cover. One, two. Oh, that time he was close. Careful, Joseph might be getting desperate, catches a super kick. To the knee, Kyle O'Reilly getting caught off guard. Oh, misses the back elbow. Kyle O'Reilly setting him up here. Oh my God. Oh, he's got him in a guillotine, middle of the ring, nowhere to go. He might have him here. Looking to pass him out. Oh, he's had it locked in long. Finally, let's go of it. And Kyle O'Reilly not looking to make the fall. Continuing to punish Joey Joe Joseph. Beautiful fall here. One, two, for the win. Oh, man. Oh, giving him too much time to recover here. Might be his downfall. Throws him into the ropes. Oh, catches a kick. Drops him down. Setting him up in the basic pitch, Boston Crab. But he's still too close to the ropes. And Kyle Riley now. Or not, actually. Joseph hitting him with a knee shot. Back and forth from the two. One of these two eager to get that first point for their team. Kyle Riley throwing him outside the ring. Looking to deal damage outside. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly now setting him up here. Oh my God, going after his arm. I'm gonna break it there. Kyle throwing him back into the ring. This is the kick. Joseph now catches him off guard. DDT connecting into the cover. Two. Oh, but he kicks out. Both men now bleeding. Drops him down. Setting him up here. Sharpshooter walked in just inches away from the ropes. Can he reach him? Oh, he's got it locked in good. And he taps out. Kyle O'Reilly taps. Joey Joe Joseph wins it for the team. Here are your winners. John Russell and Joey Joe. Joseph. With that win, the Pyongyang Prince helps settle John Russell's score, as well as adds the first point in favor of the HQ. And in just a few moments, we're going to have the women's side of that match. But before we get to that, let's run down the second half of the card. As once we return from the break, the Dark Rising, Trinity and Medusa go up against Jessica Hart and Tina Webb in an elimination tag match. On top of that, it becomes a true war of the worlds as the new generation, John P, Jacob Cass, and Joey Ryan team up with the mystery opponent against the Rising Suns, Finn Balor, Cesar Norman, Jim Drack, and Seth Rollins in an eight-man elimination match. This war has been brewing up since January and it culminates here tonight. Then following that world, we're going to be having our champion showcase. As starting it off for the women's side, the Fusion Women's Champion Madison Death will be going up against the Queen of Queens, the UCC Women's Champion Jocelyn Bass, as well as Ruth Lazone, the Violets World Champion, the Player One Princess Peaches. And then for the final match of the night, we look at the men's side of things. As Hoopla's World Champion Carlos Aragon goes up against the Fusion World Champion Killer Cross, as well as the UCC World Champion in Bobby Bass. As per tradition, this is our home turf, so therefore, these two matches will be under hoopla rules. And to get to all eight of those matches, we gotta finish off the pre-show 
And to end it, we're going on to the women's side of the elimination tag match. As Team Hoopla, the Switchblade sisters go up against Team UCC and Eva Elise and Killer Kelly. As well as Team XWS and Team Kick, Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox. This is our final match for the show before the show, and it is coming up next. The following is a triple threat elimination tag match. Making their way to the ring first, representing the Hoop Blades Q, Emily and Emma Switchblade, the Switchblade Sister. As they make their entrance, the Switchblade Sisters are the first team to ever be a part of Worlds Collide in two separate years on two separate teams as last year they represented UCC in this same matchup. Hopefully their luck turns tonight and they get a second point for the HQ. And they got stiff competition ahead of them. One of those teams being this year's team, UCC. the UCC and fighting out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, La Sicaria y Valiz. up her partner, fighting at a Lisboa, Portugal, Killer Kelly. There's not much to say about this team aside from the fact that alone, they're some of the most dangerous individuals in the entire business. Together, we will just have to wait and see if that's the same case. Because despite how dangerous they are, if they cannot work together, they are not going to be winning this match. Representing XWS and fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. And her partner, fighting out of the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Over the past couple months, it has seemed that Tegan Knox and Dakota Kai have reformed their friendship, and it was only strengthened after the Switchblade sisters came in and invaded XWS. Tonight they're out for revenge for their own pride and for their brand. It's going to be one chaotic matchup, and it is coming up next.
And it is on final match of the pre show elimination tag team match. Same first, same as the first. Pick a target and focus on, and I am focusing on what's going in the ring. So finally, Switchblade going after Killer Kelly. We go to Kai going after Emma Switchblade, and Eva Elise going after Tegan Knox. Here's anybody's game so far. Everybody laying in shots. Emma missing a kick. Could have had a capitalized hitching with the forearm. All oh, the insecurity to the face. Oh, 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 Bulldog from Dakota. And up from there, Emma's, Emily Switchblade laying in shots on Kill Kelly. Longer onto the apron. And two going on the outside. Inside the ring, Dakota Kai laying it. Kicks to the back of Emma. Ziva Lee's continuing to assault. Tita Nato catches the leg, knees her in the face. There's nothing with it. Gets caught with the Hurricane Rana. Turns her attention to Dakota Kai. And elbows her in the face. Goes back to Emma. Gets caught. Dragon sweep there. Kicks her in the face. As Eva Lee's just watching on on the apron. As Emma just Pummels Dakota. Got her a camel clutch. Very close to the ropes. She gets out of it quickly. Dakota now throwing her outside on the apron. Kicked in the gut. Tegan Knox now throwing Emma back in the ring. There's Eva Lise setting her up on the second rope. And Eva Lise now turns her attention to Emma Switchblade. A little bit of miscue there from Dakota and Tegan. Tegan now focusing in on Emily and Killer Kelly. Gonna get them confused. I swear to God. Emma now setting her up in the ropes. It's the other one. Oh, shoulder tackles are down. Oh, catches off guard with the back elbow. Hits her with the Hurricane Rana. Everybody's coming back in the ring. Tegan Knox missing a boot. Gets caught by Eva. It's in the gut. Throws her to the corner. Standing up here. Catches her leg. Misses the drop kick. Tegan Knox now has her on the ropes. Oh, Dakota Kai running across. Ah, the killer Kelly stopping the move. Oh, she gets hit with a stunner for her troubles. Two, and Killer Kelly's been eliminated. Team UCC now down one person. Emily Switchblade now focusing in on Dakota Kai. As Tegan goes after Emma. Oh, turns her attention to Eva Lise. Eva Lise reverses, slaps her in the face. Goes over. Oh, Emily Switchblade hitting you with the knee to the face. It's Eva Lee Snell throwing her on the outside. And catches Dakota with the Hurricane Rana. Oh, neck breaker there from Eva Lee. Goes outside the ring. Tegan Ox is just isolating Emily. Oh, running back in the ring, stopping the fall. Saving your partner there. Very early. Oh, she got belly to belly. Serious suplex there from Eva Lise. Oh, it gets one of her own. Now the Switchblade sisters standing tall. Team XWS and Team Hoopla are the only two full. Eva Lise is just duking it out with both of them. As Eva Lee is torturing Dakota there. Ah! Stops it. Oh, combo there from Emily. Catches her 
leg. Release now hits her in the face, setting her up in the corner. Oh my god. She's got something in mind here. No, it's not looking good for Emily. Oh, super drop kick to the face. Not done. Climbing to the top, setting up, setting up for something here. Oh, misses the leg drop. Emily Switchblade now capitalizing. Other side of the ring. Emma almost had her there with the tongue. Death grip. Rose taken away. Team knocks now. Oh, laying in a flurry of shots. Continuing to hit her. Oh, kicks her in the leg. Oh, the shiniest wizard connecting. Emma Switchblade rolling out. Amanda, she's looking for something here. Oh my god. Oh my god, both were trying to go for her and both fucked up. Tegan now focusing in on Ivelisse. There's Dakota, takes out Emily. Ivelisse kicks both of them. Hits him again. Tegan kicks him in the gut. Oh, and the very hitting her square in the jaw. Tegan knocks now into the cover. One, two. Oh, but she kicks out of it. Oh man, oh Emma Switchblade now, focusing in on Tegan, calling for her to get up, has her locked in the tongue and death grip, middle of the ring, ah but she gets out of it quickly, and has her with a full dot, oh whereas Emily, focusing in, stunner connecting, ah but she rolls up, turns her attention to Tegan, Keeps her leg. Ivelisse now. Trying to go after her, but Emma stops her. Hits her with the backbreaker. Emma shit is happening at once. Ivelisse though, standing tall among all of them. Okay, Emma Switchblade focusing in on Ivelisse. Guys in the headlock. Oh, just gets reverse. Oh, oh, close down to the face. Tika knocks down into the cover. Emma right there to stop it. That's the punch. Tika knocks now. It's with the jawbreaker. To the face. Oh, she's setting up something here. Oh, man. Oh, was looking for the choke slam, but Eva Lee's right there to stop it. Ivelisse wants Emma to herself. Tegan Knox says otherwise. Ford has something in mind. Picking her up. Oh man. Oh, detonation kick to Emma. Emma, excuse me. Has her into the cover. Might be it here. And it was. Emma Switchblade eliminated. Team XWS is the only full team in this match. If the other two want anything to do with the finals, they're going to have to work together. <laughs> to at least take out one of them. With Dakota now teaming up with Eva Lise. It has now become a handicap situation for both Eva Lise and Emily. Continuing to lay in shots on Eva Lee. And dragging her towards the steps by the looks of it. Emily looking to join the fray. Gets a kick for her troubles. Team Kick are just taking over this matchup. Oh man, she's got her locked in a kind of set of crossroads. Cleverly. There's outside the ring, Dakota continuing to assault Emily. Oh, gets caught with the knee to the face. Tegan knocks down, now setting her up here. Possibly looking for it. Here she goes. Joke slam connecting. 
He could have went for the fall right there. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. On the stage, Tiffany Lee Ray going after Medusa. Oh man. Looking to get rid of another member of the Dark Rising. The member that will be teaming with Trinity later tonight. Oh, drops her head first. Continuing to pummel Medusa. So there is action going on inside the ring, but what is going on on the stage? It's just fucking brutal. Oh my god. Oh, Medusa's passing out. She is done for on the stage. The living dead girl making her statement known that nobody in the Dark Rising is safe from the living dead girl. Back in the ring, Ivelisse, oh, missing the kick. Tegan Knox kicks her in the face. Team XWS just isolating both women. Ivelisse hits her with the Pele kick. Must be looking to eliminate Dakota. She's got to continue to deal damage to her. Dakota now throwing Emily back in the ring. Oh, Ivelisse throws her. Dakota setting it up here. Oh my god, a drop on her back. That was fucking disgusting. Ivelisse now. Suplex on the outside. The punch hits her in the face. Emily Switchblade now. Both women want a piece of Dakota. But they just keep fucking each other up. Oh, she gets hit with a stunner. Dakota Kai now. Focusing in on Emily. Kicks her square in the face. Jawbreaker. Oh man. Oh, she gets a forearm to the face. Oh my god, standing up here. Oh my god. Oh my god, the chiropractor connecting. But Eva Lee, what the fuck is she doing? Oh, she is taking the cover for her. Two. And Eva Lee just made the biggest fucking mistake in her career. Now, Team XWS. Focusing in on Eva East. She's doing well against the numbers game. Oh, but Tegan jumping over. This is the kick. Dodges her slap. Oh my god, kicks her square in the face. One, two, and Team XWS sweep this match. <laughs> what? Here are your winners, Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox. Team King. With the early points now out of the way, we now brace for impact. As in 15 minutes, worlds will officially collide. We will see you then.